there is only one Caribbean. This is the place we call home and we must preserve and protect its landscapes, natural resources, diversity, and most of all, its people. We know we are vulnerable to the effects of climate change and are degrees away from disaster. Therefore, we can no longer afford to rely solely on traditional forms of energy that pose risks to our environment and our economies. Across the region, there has been a movement. Movement to propel our countries forward. Forward with thinking. Forward with planning. Forward with action. Forward with sustainable energy while ensuring our climate's resiliency. Our ultimate goal was to help build a future where every Cariform citizen has access to the affordable, sustainable and reliable energy supply they deserve. What TAPSEC, its partners and the region's people have accomplished since 2017 is remarkable. I mean, my hope for the region is really to um, that the energy transition is being implemented and that we reach a stage in 10, 20, 30 years where all countries are really fully fueled on sustainable energy. That means we have solar PV, wind, we have other uh, technologies installed and that the dependency on fossil fuel has really been cut. That is important for our future generations, that is important for the Caribbean region from an economic point of view and for so many other reasons. And I really hope that those initiatives we have supported, that they are now picking up and being implemented in a much broader way and helping, contributing to that energy transition. But the journey continues. Our region must build on its achievements thus far. We must continue to harness our power through our partnerships, to fuel our future, and to walk on this path to a sustainable, climate-resilient Caribbean. <laughs>